Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today you are joining me on a brand new video. We are talking about my best closet organization hacks. Now I have a ton of closet organization videos for you on the channel, but today we are going to be talking about how to keep that closet organized, clean, neat, tidy. There are so many tips and tricks that I implement for myself and my husband's closet. So watch this video to get my best ideas. I've often said in many of my videos that if I wasn't an interior designer, I would probably be a professional organizer. I love to organize. For me, the devil is all in the details. There's nothing more satisfying than walking into your closet and seeing everything on display in a neat and organized way. It makes getting dressed in the morning so much easier, so much more efficient when you can really see everything in front of you. I'll be sectioning off this video with my top 10 tips to organize your closet. We are starting with number one, all of your tops. Now for me, I have so many tops. I mean, if you're looking at my closet right now, you're probably thinking, dude, she has so many clothes, period. However, I have organized all of my clothes in a way that makes it so much easier for me to just grab and go. For my lighter blouses and dressier tops, I keep them on slim velvet hangers on the top rod in my closet. I organize them first by color, then by the length of the sleeve. I live in Southern California, and as most of you know, we have year-round sun. We don't really do four seasons here, we really just have two seasons. Indoor AC or outdoor sunny weather. Those are the two seasons that most all of Southern Californians dress for. So I don't need seasonal storage items, I really just want to see all of my tops, whether or not they're meant for spring, summer, or fall or winter all in one place. T-shirts should never be hung because of course you know that t-shirts are typically cotton and they can sag at the shoulders when they're hung on any sort of hangers. So definitely always fold your t-shirts and place them in a drawer. You might remember from my previous office refresh video that I love Marie Kondo. You might know her as Marie Kondo or Marie Kondo, which is a very Western way of saying it. But Marie Kondo has so many amazing organization hacks out there. Of course, one of the first and foremost ones is all about sparking joy. So if you aren't familiar with that mantra, Marie really just talks about keeping everything in your closet or in your home that sparks joy. So if you pull out something from your closet and you realize that number one, it doesn't fit you well, number two, the color is like outrageous, it's just not something that you vibe with anymore, you definitely want to purge or donate that item so that you can make way for things that align with your aspirational version of yourself. So I love the Marie Kondo way of folding up your tees to place in your dressers or your cabinets. It's so easy for me to organize my t-shirts in this way because I just pull out the drawer and I never even have to thumb through my t-shirts. I can kind of see the color, the pattern, the graphic of all the tees laid out right in front of me so I can sift through them and select the ones that I want with ease. But when it comes to my husband's closet, he pretty much has like 20 of the exact same things. He cannot distinguish from one black t-shirt to the next. So this Marie condo hack of folding up t-shirts really works for him. For his closet, dress shirts are hung in the exact same way I hang my blouses. They're all on slim velvet hangers. I love the uniformity, I love the consistency, and of course since they're slim and velvet, they'll stack up neatly right next to each other, not take up a whole lot of footprint, and bonus points for the velvet because nothing will slide off this sucker. For my heavier jackets that have a little bit more weight to them, I place them on uniform wooden hangers. I love wooden hangers or bamboo hangers. Think about the finish that vibes with the aesthetic of your closet and choose a coordinating wood. I found these really cool cloth garment bags to hang all of my husband's suits. I love that there's this little opening on the front of the garment bag so you can see through what's behind it. It makes it so much easier for you to see everything in your closet without having to pull everything out. Knits and sweaters should never be hung. Of course, these are heavier fabrics. What I love to do is color coordinate all of my sweaters and then I'll fold them with the heaviest knits on the bottom and the lightest knits on top. You wanna to do that so that your heavier knits, if they're placed on the top of the pile, they won't crush all of the lighter knits beneath it. So when you're organizing all of your heavy sweaters and knits, always think go from heaviest to lightest. 
What about all of your layered tank tops and lighter undergarments? I like to organize all of my layered pieces along with my bras and my bralettes in acrylic bins. Acrylic bins are great so that you can see all of your items on full display, but I go even one step further and I place these acrylic bins in a really beautiful antique cabinet or dresser. I used to have an entire closet that was dedicated just for my dresses and long gowns. But now that I have two kids, they took over that previous closet. And now I have to move all of my dresses over to my walk-in. Instead of dedicating an entire section just to my long dresses, I was able to carve out an area at a shower niche that my husband and I don't currently use. We already have two full bathrooms in the home and I really don't need this third one. It was just a waste of space and I thought what better way for me to use this more efficiently than to hang all of my long dresses. Moving on to all the bottoms. We're talking slacks, jeans, shorts, skirts. How do you store and organize them in a way that makes it really chic and efficient? Again, you wanna start by grouping all like items together. Shorts with shorts, skirts with skirts, pants with pants, denim on denim. I hang all of the bottoms in my closet and my husband's closet in the exact same fashion. I use plastic hangers with those little clips to hang all of my jeans and my trousers. For all of my shorts and short skirts, I hang them on a four tier pant hanger. The thing that I love best about this hanger is that there's four different tiers. It minimizes the footprint of your shorts or skirts. This four tier hanger is perfect for that bottom rod in your closet. I'm gonna throw underwear in here too because technically it is a bottom. Now how do you store your underwear? You remember those scub boxes from Ikea that I absolutely love? I'm really obsessed with these boxes. If you don't have these scub boxes or if you can't make it out to your local Ikea, there's also a really easy hack. Just use an old shoe box. That is currently what I have sitting in my husband's dresser, even though in my dresser I have like the fancy stuff. But in his dresser, I still use really old shoe boxes to organize all of his undergarments. We've got dress socks in one area, athletic socks in another, and even an area for all of his boxers, like fancy boxers, everyday boxers, and like dressy boxers. So the next time you buy a new pair of shoes, don't throw away your shoe boxes. Use it to organize inside your drawers or even underneath your kitchen cabinets, underneath the sink. There are so many uses for old shoe boxes. So if you only get one thing out of this video, that is my number one organization hack. It is to reuse all of those old shoe boxes. Let's move on to all of your jewelry. I am a self-professed maximalist. You will know that if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, which means I have a ton of jewelry. I wear a lot of necklaces. I have a lot of costume jewelry. I love huge statement earrings. I have a lot of little like trinkets, like belts and scarves. And anyways, how do I organize them in a way that makes my closet still look efficient and functional? I found this belt hook rack from the container store that I use to display all of my necklaces. Instead of simply hanging them on one by one on every individual hook, I actually spread them out so you can see more of the necklace front and be able to select the perfect necklace for your perfect ensemble on the fly. My motto is, if you don't see it, you won't wear it. This antique dresser that I have in my closet really just hides all of my junk in plain sight. I love that there's this really beautiful detailing on the front with the antique mirror, the lacquered high gloss black, the bold inset red paint. Once you open up the cabinets, you'll see how I organize all of the interior fittings. I use really inexpensive acrylic bins to also house bracelets and earrings. I can pull out the different drawers to access the bracelets. There's another drawer that holds all of my earrings in individual plastic pouches. I find that this system is so easy and efficient because I can sift through them in record time to complete today's ensemble. For my husband's jewelry, it's a little bit more straightforward. He doesn't have a whole lot of stuff, just his watches and his wedding band. I know my husband. Less effort, the better. He just wants to wake up, open his eyes, grab and go. I found this vintage tray from one of my flea market excursions and I use this to house all of his watches. These aren't expensive watches, they're really just everyday casual watches. So it's really easy for him to throw everything in this tray, be able to access it, see it every day. Moving on to handbags. I found this really cute antique drapery rod from Goodwill that I repurposed into my handbag station. You can use a shower hook or a simple S hook from your local hardware store to hang all of your featured handbags and accessories. 
The ones with long straps or chains could be hung this way, but the ones with smaller straps or clutches are neatly tucked on my closet shelves. This allows you to free up space on the floor and becomes a chic display for all of your favorite handbags. For me, it's all about convenience. I need a system that's really functional and efficient because now with two kids, we're just trying to get out of the house in record time. Sunny SoCal season is here and now it's time for me to bust out all of my hats. This antique drapery rod also doubles as a place for me to hang all of my soft knits on a simple S hook. For wool hats and straw hats, I like to keep the largest hat on the bottom and stack the lighter hats on top. This method allows me to stack and store multiple hats on the very same shelf. I have a different scarf for pretty much every single occasion. Like I said, I'm a maximalist. I've got my winter scarves that I fold and store on a shelf. I have my everyday lighter scarves that I hang up on the antique drapery rod. I have fancier silk scarves that I place in a box in a cabinet. And for my husband's heavier scarves, I wrap them up and place them on a decorative ladder so he can see all of his items on display. I mean, they make scarf hangers. You've seen those little hangers with like multiple rings on them. But if you're using an item for its intended use, that's not considered a hack. So we won't be featuring any of those products in today's video. My personal closet has undergone so many different personalities and so many different ways for me to organize my item. You remember that shower alcove that I have now repurposed into my dress and gown storage? Well, it used to house all of my scarves. I simply used a tension rod that was mounted in tiers so that I could house all of my different scarves. If you have any vertical wall space in your bedroom or even a hall closet or even your bathroom, you want to think about all of the ways that you could use the vertical height of your walls and your interior space to feature your items. Let's talk about belts. My own personal belt collection has grown exponentially. I have thin belts, I have medium belts, I have woven belts, I have leather belts, I have fabric belts, I have so many different belts. The elastic belts all get folded and put in acrylic boxes within my antique dresser. For the sturdier, more substantial belts like leather or woven materials, those get hung on the decorative ladder that I have simply leaning in my closet. I love that I can visually see all the different colors, all the different materials and textures and pull the items with ease. Because everything is front and center, I can make quick decisions when getting dressed in the morning. Moving on to shoes. You might remember that I hacked these IKEA Billy bookcases to house all of my shoes. It's a simple Billy bookcase that I purchased additional adjustable shelves for inside and I simply arranged the two different cabinets according to casual shoes versus dress up shoes. You can further personalize the look with your shelves, your doors, or your own hardware. IKEA's Billy bookcase collection comes with so many different customizations. You can also personalize a door front by adding wallpaper or fabric for a glam update. Since I transformed an extra bedroom into my custom walk-in closet, my husband needed a place to house all of his own belongings. I purchased two identical IKEA bookshelves to house my husband's shoe collection as well. One side holds all of his athletic shoes, his dress shoes, and the other side holds an assortment of personal items from his lighter tees and sweaters to his chunky knits to linens and towels alongside his collection of books and personal photos. And lastly, let's talk about those bulkier seasonal items and your luggages. I love my luggage collection. I clearly don't use everything all the time, but I have amassed quite a collection since I started traveling in my early teens. Because my closet is so lofty with this vaulted ceilings, I use this upper section to house all of my luggages. My luggages are so cute, so why wouldn't I want them front and center on display? Since everything I own is already so super chic, I want to show it off. I typically don't get rid of any items unless they're no longer functional to me. Although my style has changed and evolved drastically, I still hang on to all of these older luggages to store seasonal items that I don't need to access on the daily. I have my old wedding dress in here. I have bulkier bedding that I use for guests. I even use these luggages to store old decorative throw pillows that I don't want to get rid of. Think about using inexpensive storage bins or old luggages to keep your cabinets and interior space organized. That's it for today's video. What did you think of my best closet organization hacks for his and hers closets? Do you have any neat and clever ways that you store your items that you'd love to share? 
Remember that your closet is another opportunity for you to share your personal story, be it with sentimental gifts, personal photography, artwork, flowers, perfume, jewelry, or accessories. Show off your personality and share your story. Bring in color with pattern window treatments. Keep it cozy with an area rug. Don't forget an ottoman for extra seating or even a catch-all for all of your clothes. Have fun with it. Remember that design is never done. Just because you make one decision today doesn't mean that you can't change your mind tomorrow. But remember that the first step to styling and organizing your closet is to purge. If you like this type of content and you wanna see more storage and organization hacks, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions when it comes to styling and organizing your own closet. Share this video and the entire closet playlist with anyone you know who's looking to organize this season. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every single Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.